Last year, Great Britain's men's ice hockey team secured promotion to the sport's elite level following a dramatic overtime win over Hungary in Budapest. Trailing 2-0, Team GB stormed back to take victory 3-2. In so doing, Britain booked their place at the 2019 World Championship, which takes place this month in Slovakia. It was a proud moment for coach Peter Russell and his players. It was an amazing feeling and, you know, I think uh, when you achieve something like that, it's a surreal feeling, you know, and I think it was just really proud and, you know, we put GB on the map again and I think to do that as a team and for everybody else over here because everyone's behind you and uh, it was just great to come back and have that, you know, I think it was a sensational achievement. I don't think people realise how big an achievement, to be honest. Pete said at the start of the tournament, um, dare to dream, I believe, and um, uh, we did that and we just played our heart, hearts out. And then um, you know, the last few seconds of the hungry game was definitely nerve wracking, but when that goal went in, it was, it was such an amazing feeling. It's something that I'll never, never forget. It was something you know, very, very special and, and easily the, the, the biggest thing that, that I've ever been a part of in my career. To find out more about this team, Transworld Sport headed to the English city of Coventry where the squad was busy preparing for the World Championship. I think the golden era is in this team, the core of it. I think they've been very good at under 18 when I coached them under 20, and now the men's team. The Bounds, Farmer, Lakovic, Stevie Lee, they all were the same age, and we had we done a lot of good things with them as well. So I think the golden age is here, but I think we have a, some good young top talent coming through to add to that. That young talent is epitomized by the emergence of rookie sensation Liam Kirk. He'll be pivotal to the team making a successful impact at the World Championship. It's so exciting to go to such a competition and the players that are going to be there, it's going to be an incredible experience. But for us, we're just going to go and play our same game, play with, play with the GB passion that we always play with and just, you know, just show that um, you know, hockey in England's a thing and that you know, we can actually play and hopefully we get a few results. And, and make something out of it. Last June, 19-year-old Liam Kirk from Rotherham became the first player born and trained in England to be drafted into North America's NHL. He was picked up by the Arizona Coyotes. Currently on loan at the Peterborough Peets in Canada's Ontario Ice Hockey League, the teenager is still reveling in his move across the pond. Growing up in England, obviously getting to the NHL uh, seems impossible to a lot of people, but I always have that belief and that dream that you know if I work hard enough and you know you get you get a little lucky that it's, it can happen. I remember being sat at home, my family watching the draft, and it got to the end of the sixth round, and it was getting a little um, nerve-wracking. And then before it came back on, um, I had a text saying I got drafted, and it was all a blur. Five o'clock the next morning, I was heading to the airport to go to Arizona, so it all happened so fast, but um, definitely something that I'll never forget. Along with Liam, a big player for Team GB is their captain. Jonathan Phillips. He also skippers the Sheffield Steelers in the British League and has won eight trophies with them. Compared to the multi-million dollar contracts on offer in the NHL, players in the British League earn on average a modest 21,000 pounds a year. The British League is starting to get the recognition, so you know scouts are now coming over and looking at the likes of Kirky and all the other and under 20s. You know, there's a lot of us older guys who are going to be done soon, and these guys are way more skilled than us. Um, so it's just kind of you know getting their ho hockey IQs up, and we've really, as a as a nation, got to start investing in them in these kids to kind of take over our positions so they can carry on and progress the the program and and you know keep keep GB hockey where where it deserves to be. As part of their final preparations for the World Championship, Great Britain played a friendly match with Italy at Coventry's Sky Dome Arena. In the UK, ice hockey's fan base continues to grow, and the average attendance at league games is around 3,000. There are more than that in attendance for Team GB's game with Italy, who will also be featuring at the Worlds.
In the encounter with the Italians, GB showed both their attacking flair and their defensive weaknesses. In an entertaining game, Pete Russell's men lost 5-2. It was good preparation for the team, who will be up against ice hockey powerhouses Canada and the United States in their group at the World Championship. Finishing last in the group stages means relegation back to Division 1A, something Pete Russell is desperate to avoid, given the hard work it took to make it to the elite level of the sport. You know, if we can find a way of staying up, that would be one of the biggest stories in a long, long time, because our ranking, we shouldn't be there. So for us to go there and have a philosophy of playing our brand of hockey, being fun to watch, you know, giving everything we have, showing our passion, and uh, showing we can play, and finding some way of getting some points to try and stay up, I think that would be just a sensational story.